back and we're one minute from tip off. I want to remind everybody that the Indians and Lady Indians will be in the Hera tournament this weekend beginning on Thursday. The uh, Lady Indians <coughs> will be playing, I'm sorry, the Indians will be tipping off at 2.30 on Thursday and the Lady Indians will follow at 4. Should they both win, the Indians will play in semifinals at 4 p.m. I will start that over. The Lady Indians will play at 4 p.m. on Friday, and the Indians will follow them at 5.30 on Friday. So if you're not doing anything, come out and watch the Indians and Lady Indians in the Hera Tournament. If you want to be a sponsor, contact Brooke Robertson at brobertson at elrenops.org. We'd love to have you. Over 15,000 viewers last year, and we're well on our way to that again this year. So money well spent. Be a sponsor. Announcing
Starting for El Reno, number zero, Matthew Topai. Number one, Carter Romanos. Number five, Deontay Palmer. Number 23, big man in the middle, James Revelis. Revelis. Sorry about that, Revelis family. And last but certainly not least, the Iron Man of the team, number four, Evan Roman knows. For the Fighting Irish, number zero, Jet Schaefer. Number five, Andrew Harris. Number 11, Price Bradley. Number 15, Cooper Bradley. And number 23, 6'5 sophomore, Marcus James. El Reno Indians are coached by head coach and athletic director, Rodney Hayden. Tyler Hill, assistant coach. Gavin Beavers, assistant coach. Briar Workman, assistant coach. And athletic trainer for the Indians and the Lady Indians, Alex Bray. Director of Basketball Operations, Mr. Fred Slaughter. Superintendent of Schools, Matt Goucher. High School Principal, Tim Pounds. Athletic Trainer, Alex Bray. Athletic Director and Head Coach of the El Reno Indians, Rodney Hayden. Tip off twice. And that's what happens when these two teams get together. Everything is unpredictable. Irish win the tip. Basket is good by Jet Schaefer. And there was a defensive foul called on number 23, James Revelis. So Irish get the ball back in. Carter Roman knows with a steal, pushes. Kicks to brother Evan. Evan slices. Kicks back out to Carter for three. Carter sets his feet. And it's three points. Carter picking up right where he left off versus Lott and Ike. Indians lead 3-2. Bryce Bradley with drive, floater. Carter Roman knows, holds his ground for a charge. That's number one foul on number one one. And number one took the charge. That's a lot of ones right there. Now Ringo bring the ball up the floor. Find Carter wide open on a three and don't leave him open. He makes them pay. Carter Roman knows. Carter sidesteps, acted like he was going to, uh, acted like he was going to step in and take the charge, got out of the way and moved. And number 23, the big man in the middle for McGinnis, Marcus James, 6'5 sophomore, picks up his first foul of the contest. El Reno leads 6'2". Matthew Topai thought about a three. Good job by Palmer. Dribble drive. Deny. Inside to James. James works on number two, three. Goes up strong. And the senior makes the sophomore pay. El Reno leads 8-2. 
Good long pass. Skip pass, number 15, spots up for three, no good. And number 15 for the Irish fans, that was Cooper Bradley. Palmer has it. Evan with a beautiful no-look pass. And number 23 did a good job, Marcus James. Good defense by Evan. Always in the right place at the right time. This young man has a high motor and he is fun to watch. If you've never watched him play defense, that's his favorite thing in the world. Nice trap. Coach Hayden calls trap. Goes in, number 23. They get the ball inside to the big man. Nice spin move. Gets slapped on the wrist by number one, Carter Roman Nose. He is going to the line for the conventional three-point play. And the young man converts. Score El Reno, eight, Irish, five. Press is easily broken by Carter and Evan. Kicks over to Matthew. Matthew has his shot blocked. Regains the best, the best way to understand young people. If you get a shot blocked, it's probably going to come right back at you. Deontay Palmer does a very good job baiting number 23, hesitation dribble. And number 23, the 6'5 sophomore, Marcus James, just picked up his second foul with only five minutes to go in the first quarter. Matthew Topai goes up strong. James Ravellis keeps it alive. Beautiful pass. Beautiful pass by Deontay Palmer off that possession. Find Carter wide open and Carter goes to the line to shoot two. Carter misses his first, barely. Nothing but net on the second. Seven points for Carter. Four minutes, 56 seconds to go in the first quarter. Long pass. Evan right there. James walls up nicely, goes straight up. Does it slap down? Excellent defense. Evan drives hard, kicks the ball to Matthew. Matthew Topai, little strong, but hustles back. Number zero goes to the lay-in, and it's seven nine. Back to Carter. Carter to Evan. Evan gets fouled on the baseline by number fifteen, and that is Cooper Bradley, and that is Cooper's. Second foul. That's I was thinking that he had already been called. So Cooper Bradley goes to the bench for the Fighting Irish. Jacob Robertson enters for El Reno. Nice job by Palmer kicking out, finding guess who? Carter Roman knows his third three of the night. Ten points out of twelve for the young man. Excellent defense by Matthew Topai, forcing a turnover by number one, Jet Schaefer. El Reno to inbound. Deontay Palmer brings the ball up the floor. El Reno leads 12-7. Deontay drives around, goes strong to the bucket. Does it get it? Jacob and number 14, Hudson McCormick fight for the rebound and they say it's off of McCormick possession stays with the Indians underneath the go James came, comes in with uh, information from Coach Hayden from the bench and number 33 6'5 senior Vincent Shivers or Shivers. I apologize if that's wrong. Whichever one I choose will probably be wrong. Carter Roman knows. 
a little bit out of his range, but uh, the gym is pretty much his range once he gets off the bus. Matthew Topai, great hustle. Uh, ball in the corner and deflected out of bounds by Bishop McGinnis. Matthew looking, James sets a high screen. James Rose, Matthew driving in. Jacob Robertson gets the rebound. And they call Jacob over the back. And that is Jacob's first foul uh, called on him, crashing the boards. Evan Roman knows with a steal, passes it to James. James keeps his dribble alive, lets a big man go on top of him. James is brought to the ground, no call. And number zero, Jeff Schaefer, finishes at the other end. Good pass by Evan once again. Matthew goes up strong, expecting contact. There was none. Jacob. Jacob gets called for a foul, and that's his second. <laughs> Coach Hayden calls timeout. And it's a full, and we are going to step away for one minute, and we'll be back. At El Reno Family Dentistry, we are dedicated to providing you and your family with the highest quality of dental care in a comfortable, affordable, and friendly way. We offer a wide range of services, from digital x-rays and implants to Botox. We are insurance-friendly and offer flexible financing. Call today for your free first visit at 405 262-6737. We can't wait to see you here at El Reno's most caring dental office. Our community is about people. More than 80 years ago, our community came together to form El Reno Rock Island Credit Union to share a cooperative spirit of people helping people. Today, El Reno Rock Island Credit Union continues to carry on that spirit in El Reno and surrounding communities. We have personalized products and services for your needs, and we have experts to guide you along the way. Please visit our website at rockislandcu.com to learn more about our services and the benefits of being a member of the El Reno Rock Island Credit Union. We'd like to thank El Reno Rock Island Credit Union for being one of our sponsors. And if you want to be a sponsor, contact Brooke Robertson at brobertson at elrenops.org. Palmer looking inside, trying to find James, gets it over to him. James waits, patient, goes up, gets knocked down. Evan right there, kicks the ball to Carter. Carter. Scores when the assist and the hustle from Evan. It's like I said, if you like to watch defense, and that is one of the few things that you will never see that young man do, is reach. Uh, he really is smart, and he just kind of got cut up with that. But uh, you watch him, he anticipates. He, he keeps an eye. Uh, I think I'm going to give him... I gave him Iron Man. I told him I gave him Iron Man because he truly is an Iron Man. But uh, he's kind of that same uh, Leslie Valdez from last year's girls team. He just keeps an eye. He knows where everybody on the floor is and everything going on. James working hard in the middle against two different postmen. Hand off. Find James. Carter Reeve. Carter re-enters it. It gets deflected again. Number 33, Vincent Shivers scores. James working hard against Shivers. Shivers pushing against him. 
Palmer thinks about it, kicks it to Roman Nose, Roman Nose to James, and they call James with a double dribble. James isn't arguing. A minute 19 to go in the first quarter. El Reno trails 14-15. Again is number 11, Bradley, dribbling between the rings, kicks out to Bradley. Number five, pull up from about 15 feet. Strong off the glass. Number one, Mike Taffy gets the board. Evan, some very nice ball handling, kicks it across. No look to Matthew. Matthew gets it deflected by Carter. I mean by Carter, on his pass to Carter. Matthew picks the ball up. Number 11, way outside. Strong board by James. Carter gets picked from behind. Ball goes to number five. Straight up by Evan. And number five finishes and flex and gets a technical foul called. Number five, freshman, uh, great hustle, great effort there. Came down, uh, was nose to nose with uh, Evan after the play and flexed in front of him and the, t the uh, technical for taunting was called and that is one that is being very quickly enforced this season. Carter goes to the line, sinks both free throws. Indians still trail by one, 16-17. Palmer is replaced by the younger Ravellis, Josiah, number 10. El Reno inbounds with 17.8 seconds to go. Evan with the ball out high, crossover dribble. Uh, runs into number 14, ball bounces off of his leg, goes out of bounds to the Irish. Irish will inbound with 8.5 seconds to go in the ball game. Substitution number 15, Cooper Bradley comes back in. Ball goes to number zero. Number zero pulls up, spins in and out. Rebound by James. Number zero is Jet Schaefer. Schaefer, good looking shot, just rolled in and rolled out. That's the end of one with your score, El Reno 16, McGinnis 17. Let's pay a few bills. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Stream with Pioneer iVideo and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD easily find and watch your favorite shows and movies anywhere on any device perfect for the entire family and easy to use enjoy pioneer iVideo today and we're back at the beginning of the second quarter we'd like to thank our sponsors bank first of el reno dorsey jones buick gmc of el reno el reno family dentistry dr Kristen jackson and dr eric parsons health care one urgent care of el reno and el reno rock island credit union thank you sponsors if you would like to be a sponsor contact brooke robertson at brobertson at el reno ps.org her office number 405-262 one seven zero three. The El Reno Indians are back on the floor. Good look. Good look by Evan. 
Uh, ball deflected off of McGinnis, and McGinnis is taking the ball out. Oh, they said it deflected back off of Evan on the pass. So good defense. Got a set shot, number two. And that is Zach Tallwater. Matthew Topai pulls up for a three and count it. Indians lead, 19-17. Good challenge by James at the rim. No foul, straight up. Good challenge again by Evan, straight up. Number zero, Schaefer finishes. James goes strong underneath. Number two tries to stop him, but cannot. James will go to the line for two shots. And number two, that's Zach Tallwater, 6'5 sophomore. My goodness, they just keep throwing 6'5 post in. And each one is a little bit bigger. James goes to the line, takes a deep breath. A little bit strong off the back rim. Deontay Palmer, number five, checks back in for the El Reno Indians and gives Carter, Roman knows, a well-deserved rest. James steadies himself, buries the second. El Reno takes the lead, 2019. El Reno in a 2-3 zone has McGinnis uh, stopping and looking a little bit. Zero finds a gap, tries to go around Matthew. He goes around Matthew and the lady official is saying that Evan uh, bumped him on the drive so it stays on the floor. Good read by Deontay Palmer. Deontay tries to split two defenders, gets knocked to the floor, uh, ball gets picked up, and uh, Irish throw the ball out of bounds. Ball back over to the Indians. Number 35, Phoenix Whiteshirt, checks in for the first time tonight. Uh, good wishes to Alex and Emery Elizondo, both of them starters and both of them at home recovering from the flu. Get well, kids. We need you Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. A lot of jousting going on down low, and number 14, Hudson McCormick, is called for his first foul, and James will go to the line for two. James sinks the first. Pardon me, that's a one and one. Good job by James. James has already had three people guarding him tonight. Again, that young man works hard in that middle. Good shot by James. Balloons the lead back to three. 22-19. McGinnis on the attack. Number 10, Josiah Re Revelis just checked in and good hands by Josiah, good high hands and big brothers. Slaps him on the back and says, good job. <laughs> Jacob Robertson re-enters with playing with two fouls, so Jacob has got to be smart. Arena and a 2-3. Good 
Good defense by James on the baseline. Matthew almost gets a hold of it. Jacob goes straight up, pulls the, ball, pulls the board strong. A good job by Jacob right there. 30-second timeout. Coach Hayden is drawing up a set play. Uh, it will be Indians basketball. Again, want to say that we're playing without the services of starter Alex Elizondo and uh, the Lady Indians played without starter services of his sister, starter Emery Alexando. You two get well and uh, get back on the floor for us this weekend at the Hera Tournament. Jacob looks, free throw line, nice shot, good looking shot, hit it off the front of the rim, his first offering of the game. Jacob pulls the strong board. Gets deflected, out of bounds to the Indians. Phoenix white shirt takes a seat after giving good minutes. And Carter Roman Nose comes back in and replaces him. Carter passes to Deontay, and Deontay loses the ball, and James can't garner it, so the ball will turn back over to the Irish, and number 22 and 33 are on the floor at the same time. For the Irish. Bryce Bradley. I'm not sure what happened right there. Number 23 is going to the line. Okay, number 33 is going to, that's what I thought. I thought 33 was the one that got fouled. And so number 33, Shivers goes to the line, makes one of two. Steps to the line for the second offering and cannot convert on the second. Hits the front of the rim. Good rebound by Evan Romanose. Palmer brings the ball up. Refuses the screen from Robertson. Passes to Romanose. Romanose to younger Romanose. And Carter buries it for three. Nice play drawn up by Coach Hayden. Coach Hayden is uh, visiting with the official about something. I don't know exactly what it is. From way outside. Holy cow. Uh, Schaefer just rose up and shot from way beyond NBA range and uh, nearly missed. It was right on line, hit the front of the rim. The ball goes out of bounds in uh, possession go to your El Reno Indians. Jacob Robertson with a good screen set at high post and number one 
Mike Taffy tried to run through it, and Jacob will go to the line to shoot one and one. Jacob hits the front of the rim. Just a little bit more leg, young man. You got that. McGinnis passing the ball around the perimeter. They like that three-point shot. And number one, Mike Taffy goes in for a layup. And foul was called on number four. Foul was called on Evan. And that is his third foul. And quickly, uh, Coach Hayden brings Phoenix, Phoenix white shirt off of the bench to replace Evan. Taffy misses the first and he readies himself for the second. Second shot is up and no good. Jacob Robertson tips the ball, keeps the ball alive into the hands of Carter. Carter kicks it to Matthew. Matthew goes in strong. Misses Jacob with a strong rebound. Goes up. Gets put flat of his back, but he will be going the line for two shots. Great hustle by Jacob Robertson. Jacob's first offering was a little off. Ready to himself. Second one, a little hard off the window. White shirt struggles to keep it alive. Does not. McGinnis, Jacob all the way down. And Jacob picks up his third foul. And off the bench is... Josiah Rebellis to replace Jacob after picking up his third foul. Good minutes by Jacob. Good hustle. Good play on the board. Gets a nice hand from some of the El Reno fans that uh, have traveled. Uh, number 11, Price Bradley. Uh, makes one of two, and it's a full timeout for McGinnis, and we will take it with him. Now a word from your sponsors. high school streaming service scordle.tv find out more at scordle.com slash stream at maples nixon diesel horse we've helped a lot of people and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend and as a friend we've got your back always we understand what you're going through being lawyers is what we do but it's not all that we are we care We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are. Okay, we're back at McGinnis High School. Indians taking the ball in with the lead, 25-22. Working the ball against the press, gets it over to Carter. Good job by Deontay and Carter. Matthew Topai spots up for three. Off the screen, white shirt, battles. 
white shirt battles with number 14 and they say he was on the line so uh, McGinnis takes the ball out of bounds Nice running floater by number 11, Price Bradley. Cuts a deficit to one. Josiah Ravellis gets around the de first defender, second defender stops him. Ball on the floor, scrum, and held ball is called. And the possession goes to the Fighting Irish. McGinnis with the ball inbounds. Two minutes, 20 seconds to go in the first half. El Reno leads 25-24. Matthew Topai with a great deflect. Number one is in the lane, picks the ball up. And Josiah Ravellis reaches in, gets whacked on the chin, but tie ball, good job by Josiah. I guess that's what they call sticking your nose in the middle of it and getting it whacked, good job. Deontay does an excellent job bringing the ball across, just kind of baits them in and am I gonna pass, am I not? Kicks out to Matthew, Matthew finds white shirt and white shirt gets tied up. If the pass would have been a little bit to the inside of him, he would have had him completely pinned and an easy bump off the glass, as it were. A good defense by number 14, Hudson McCormick. Jump ball, possession Irish. One minute, 30 seconds to go in the first half. Deontay Palmer gets replaced. Uh, Schaefer overshot everything. Number 11 does not. And 11 puts it down for three points. Price Bradley. And I don't know what this call is. Okay, apparently... I, the whistle blew and nothing was called. I'm at a loss. Anyway, the Irish lead, 27-25. Beautiful shot by number 11, Bradley. Carter searching, kicks to white shirt, white shirt to Topai. Topai thinks about a three, drives in, pulls it out. One minute to go in the first half. Topai to Roman Nose. Roman Nose pull over and foul on number zero. Jet Schaefer. And that is Jet's first foul of the game. Carter goes to the line with it being the 10th foul on the Irish. Goes to the line shooting two. First one is good. Second one is good. 27 all with 56 seconds to go in the first half. Irish with the ball. Bradley bringing the ball up the floor. Bradley's looking for his own shot. Passes the ball in the corner. Passes it over to Schaefer. Schaefer holds the ball out between the rings. Passes it back to Bradley. Bradley attempted to pass it inside. Ball went through the hands of number two, Tallwater, and El Reno will hold for the last shot. 23 seconds to go, Carter finds Palmer. Palmer kicks it to White Shirt. White Shirt pulls the three. Matthew Topai comes out of nowhere and gets a beautiful tip in. Great athleticism by Matthew. 29-27, Indians lead. Hands, hands, and we got a tip, tip, and we got a steal. As 11 runs into... No, take that back. As number zero, Schaefer, 
is trying to garner the loose ball. Runs into White Shirt, who is picking up the ball, and White Shirt goes to the line for two with 2.1 seconds to go in the half. White Shirt calls glass. We'll count it. White shirt ready for the second. Nice shot. 31-27, the Indians lead. Number 11 hoisted from three-quarter court, hits the glass, and that is the end of your first half, a very rough, raucous, and rowdy first half. With a score, El Reno Indians leading 27-31 to 27. We'll be back in five. I need a break. Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Bank First is uniquely Oklahoman, deeply rooted in over 50 communities statewide. From those roots, our investment in education springs forth, helping to raise the Oklahoma leaders of tomorrow while providing financial strength to the business leaders of today. That's the kind of loyalty that helps entire communities thrive. Bank First. Loyal to Oklahoma. Loyal to you. We know you have options when it comes to your vehicles, so we are grateful for the fact that you make us your dealership of choice. Whether you are needing service or parts on your existing vehicles, or possibly you are in the market for a new or newer vehicle, at Dorsey Jones Buick GMC, we will never take your time, loyalty, and friendship for granted. We are here for you. 405-262-2466, I-40 and Highway 81, exit 125, Dorsey Jones Buick GMC, the dealership with the gray canopy covers. At El Reno Family Dentistry, we are dedicated to providing you and your family with the highest quality of dental care in a comfortable, affordable, and friendly way. We offer a wide range of services from digital x-rays and implants to Botox. We're insurance friendly and offer flexible financing. Call today for your free first visit at 405-262-6737. We can't wait to see you here at El Reno's most caring dental office. 
Our community is about people. More than 80 years ago, our community came together to form El Reno Rock Island Credit Union to share a cooperative spirit of people helping people. Today, El Reno Rock Island Credit Union continues to carry on that spirit in El Reno and surrounding communities. We have personalized products and services for your needs, and we have experts to guide you along the way. Please visit our website at rockislandcu.com to learn more about our services and the benefits of being a member of the El Reno Rock Island Credit Union. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Stream with Pioneer iVideo and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD easily find and watch your favorite shows and movies anywhere on any device perfect for the entire family and easy to use enjoy pioneer iVideo today Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off.
we're back. We have one minute until halftime. Don't forget, Christmas is getting close. The annual Blue Stem Agri Learning Center, uh, ran by Dr. Christy Ehlers, Blue Stem at El Reno PS.org are having their annual poinsettia sale. Ten dollars each is all it costs for some beautiful poinsettias, red, light pink, and white. Buy one for yourself and buy one for a friend. Join us this weekend as your Indians and Lady Indians play in the Hera Tournament. Tip-off for that is Thursday at 2.30 for the Indians, followed by the Lady Indians if they should win. On Friday, the Lady Indians will play at 4, followed by the Indians at 5.30. Come join us at in Hera. And finally, guests for the Yanks this Thursday, 9 a.m. at the Auditorium. If you've never been, you need to join us. And now we're back to action. El Reno will be inbounding the ball. The score, 31-27. In what has been a most interesting affair. Carter looks inside to James, finds him. James gets fouled and won. Excellent drive by James, laying on the floor. Gets up smiling, he's like, finally. He got the low center of gravity, did a great job. Beautiful interior pass by Carter. James goes the line for the conventional three-point play. Bounces off the rim twice. Can't get it to go down. El Reno leads 33-27. And I was at a practice the other day, and I know they work hard on free throws. Number 23 with a step back, banks it off the glass. And that is sophomore Marcus James, starting center inside to James. James kicks it out to Matthew. Matthew spots up for a three, lets it fly, and nothing but net. Good inside outside by the Indians. I know, I know Coach Hayden liked that. We've got a inside offensive screen by number 23, and that is that young man's fourth foul. James will take a seat. Number 33, Shivers, enters for the Fighting Irish. Carter looking for James. James working hard. James kicks it back out to Carter, clears the lane. Back into James. He's got 33 on him. He's going to square him up. He's going to take a dribble, look, pass. It uh, bounces off the hands of Matthew. Good hustle by, excellent hustle by Deontay Palmer. And then runs and has the presence of mind to shield the fighting Irish off of the ball because they deflected it and ball out of bounds. Great play all the way around by the challenge and the uh, defending the ball going out of the bound out of bounds by Deontay Palmer. Topai between the rings, drives hard, steps through, kicks it to Evan for a three. Evan a little bit strong off the iron, secured by Schaefer. Schaefer kicks it across, outside for a three to number 15, that is Cooper Bradley. And that is that young man's first points of the game. Deontay gets low center of gravity and drives around number one, Mike Taffy, who picks up his third foul. Excellent individual effort right there. Beautiful inbound pass by Carter. James just can't get it to fall. 
36-33, 5.33 to go in the third quarter. Number 33, spin move on James. James, good defense, straight up. Matthew brings the ball, kicks it over to Evan. Evan drives, curls around, looks for James. All he has to do, and James tells him, get it a little higher, get it a little higher. Uh, James is about 6'3", and uh, make him get about 6'8", and go up and get that ball. Good idea. Nice split of the defense. Holy cow, Deontay Palmer. How did you get through that gap? Great job by Deontay. Number 15, Matt. That's a Evan. Once again, blocks. Matthew gets the rebound or the block shot. Foul on number 33, called by the official. Number 33, Vincent Shivers, and that is his first foul of the evening. Indians to inbound, leading by five. Deontay tries to cross over. Deontay kicks it out to Evan. Evan with a very soft shot, but it just rims out, won't go down. Number zero rises. Schaefer misses. Shivers rebounds. Palmer thought he had a tie up. They called him on the arm before the initial tie. Bradley kicks it over to number 15 who just hit a three and he came up short does Cooper Bradley Bradley to Bradley nice fake kicks it out to Evan by Carter good hustle by Zero uh, some thought he walked, I'm not so sure. And our own zero goes in. James gets a strong board, puts it on the ground. Number 11's there. Matthew gets the ball slapped away from behind by number 33. Evan plays great defense, kicks the ball out. Schaefer pulls up, floating, leaping leaner, no good. And Deontay Palmer right there in the mix again, fighting for the loose ball and knocks it off the Irish player ball. El Reno Indians, 38-35. 3.28 to go in the third quarter. Evan brings the ball up slowly between the rings. Motion, sends it out to Deontay. Deontay on the drive is fouled by number three, Tyrell Bruner. And that is Tyrell's first foul. James to inbound, kicks it to Evan. Evan back to James. James on baseline, working on McCormick. Out to Carter. Spot up, feet set. Ring it up. Three points for Carter Romanos. El Reno leads 41-35. 2.56 to go in the ball game. Schaefer drives hard, kicks it out to number three. And number three was Bruner. And Bruner did not draw iron, but the offensive rebound was fought for, and it stays with, according to the officials, it was off of Topai, and so it stays with the Irish. Excellent job by Evan. He just tipped it over to Matthew to keep the ball alive. Matthew brings it up, hands it to Evan. Evan looks at Coach Hayden. Coach Hayden calls the play and Evan starts. Hand off to Evan. He is bumped and called for a walk after the bump.
Ball turned over. Possession, Irish. Schaefer has it. Good rebound by Topai. Palmer brings the ball up, looks for James. James has an ISO against McCormick. Nice spin move. Got a little far under and tried to go back under the ball, under the basket. And there was a foul called, and that is called fourth foul on Evan. And that brings white shirt off of the bench. And Evan receives a round of applause from several of the El Reno faithful. Bradley with the ball, kicks it over to Schaefer. Schaefer to Bradley. Matthew Topide, nice read. He's going to be challenged at the rim. Good challenge by number 11 without, and that's Bryce Bradley. McCormick challenges James. James straight up, walls up, and McCormick comes up short. Possession, El Reno Indians. El Reno leading 41-35. Palmer bringing the ball up the floor for El Reno. Palmer waves off the screen. And as he is going around, number 15, Cooper Bradley, reaches out and grabs him to uh, keep him from making an uncontested layup. White shirt with a tip in, misses. Schaefer, zero, beautiful handoff to 11. Great assist by Schaefer. Price Bradley finishes, and the score is 37-41. El Reno. Less than a minute to go in the third quarter. A turnover by El Reno gives the ball back to the Irish. James Ravellis uh, comes out and gets a well-deserved rest for the last 55 seconds of the quarter. Great move by Coach Hayden to get him out and not pick up another foul. Number 22, Jacob Robertson replaces him. Number 33, Shoots a three. No good for Shivers. El Reno has the ball with 35 seconds to go, and Coach Hayden says we're showing, we're holding for one. 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Good job by Palmer. Palmer to Topai. Topai back to Palmer. Palmer shoots a three. Rebound by Topai. Tip out by Robertson. Topai. No look, kicks out by Robertson again. Schaefer on the move. Schaefer tries to avoid two El Reno Indians, but number 11, Bradley pulls it up and finishes the miss. And your score at the end of one, at the end of three, El Reno up two, 41-39. We'll be back in one. Bank First is uniquely Oklahoman, deeply rooted in over 50 communities statewide. From those roots, our investment in education springs forth, helping to raise the Oklahoma leaders of tomorrow while providing financial strength to the business leaders of today. That's the kind of loyalty that helps entire communities thrive. Bank First, loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you.
Uh, remember the Indians and Lady Indians will be in action on Thursday in the Hera Tournament. Drive over to Hera and root on our athletes and coaches. Beginning in the fourth quarter, El Reno holds on to a very slim two-point lead in what has been a very physical contest. Bradley gets a screen from Shivers, and Shivers is called on a moving screen. And that is his second. Uh, Rebellis checks back in for White Shirt. So on the floor for your Indians are Carter Roman Nose, Jake. Jacob Robertson, Matthew Topai, James Ravellis, and Deontay Palmer. And quickly off the bench, picking up his fourth foul is Jacob Robertson. And coming in for him is the younger Ravellis, Josiah, number 10. Dribble weave, dribble handoff by the Irish. Number 11 looking for the gap. Goes in, comes up a little short. Nice drive by that young man. Kicks it to James. James out to Roman. Roman knows. Carter, Roman knows. Sorry about that. I hesitated because you just kind of do when he spots up like that. Great uh, answer by number zero, Jet Schaefer. Arena with a 44-41 lead. Under seven minutes to go in the contest. Carter being guarded by Schaefer inside to James. James makes a move, turns. Baby hook over Shivers. And James finally gets some breathing room and a little bit of space and makes it count. 46-41. Schaefer kicks it out to number 15, Cooper Bradley. Off the mark, Deontay Palmer. I thought secured the ball, but the uh, officials say that he was on the baseline. Six thirty to go in the game. Irish inbounding. Schaefer to Taffy. Taffy inside to Shivers, being guarded by James. Deflection by Topai. Can't come up with it. Bradley to Schaefer. Schaefer pulls up, falls down, and they are calling Deontay Palmer for a foul. Jet Schaefer at the line for the Fighting Irish, shooting two. First one is good. Schaefer. 